All right, part three of the SmackDown vs. Raw season mode. Last time, we defeated JBL and freed Tori Wilson from her job of simply buying and trading stocks. So now, time to dive back in. See what we got going on here. So now we'll actually be able to utilize Tori Wilson in specific matches, which will, I guess, help. I don't know how much I'm going to use it. We'll see. The Legends Tale. This is a pretty infamous storyline in the game. I like this one. All right, now if I wanted views, hey, that would be the Corey, thumbnail of the video. What the? When I was asked to come by the GM's office, you're just about the last person I'd have expected to see here. Don't tell me you're the new general manager of SmackDown, Coach. No, no, no. The coach isn't your new general manager yet. But I have been asked to move over from Raw to take care of a few things during Teddy Long's absence. Now I know that all of you on SmackDown are upset about what happened to Teddy. But hey, life goes on, right? True. The WWE Board of Directors has asked me to help out with superstar scheduling for the upcoming WWE Legends World Tour. It turns out that Raw's Muhammad Hassan isn't going to be able to make the tour. So I need you to take his place. <laughs> my reaction it's probably for the best anyway i mean can you imagine the trouble that guy would have had at customs jesus dude look coach i appreciate the offer but i'm staying right here on smackdown to find out who ran down teddy long until that happens look, i the investigation of teddy long's attack is already well in hand besides it's not like you're actually a detective or anything is it <laughs> Got exposed. I mean, what are the odds someone like you would solve it? Come on now. You know, the way you're talking, I start to wonder if you might know more than you're saying. You wouldn't be trying to get rid of me with this whole world tour thing. I hope you're not implying that the coach ran down Teddy Long. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you that the coach is an excellent driver. <laughs> that pose, though. Besides, the tour is going to feature some of the greatest WWE legends of all time. In fact, it's such a huge show that I decided not to book myself on it. I didn't want to blow the fans' minds with too much star power. I look so disappointed. I think facing WWE legends would be a great chance to prove yourself to fans worldwide. It sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Plus, I don't think Coach is going anywhere for a while. You can stay here and deal with him if you want, but I'd just as soon get out of here until he's gone. Listen. If I can get you on board and solve this scheduling problem, that's going to make me look good for the board of directors. So if you'll help me, I'll help you. Go on the tour, and I'll see if I can't pull a few strings to get you a WWE title match once you get back. Ooh. You can do that? Absolutely. You're talking to the coach. Okay, fine. For a title opportunity, you've got a deal. Atta boy. Coach says you're welcome. All right. Legends Tour. So this is probably one of the more... Uh, remembered storylines at least in my opinion like at least for me I should say I can't really speak for anyone else but uh, really enjoyed this one um, I shouldn't talk, talk too much about it because we haven't played it on video so but yeah should be interesting you can see that week we did absolutely nothing which is <laughs> it is what it is and another cool thing is you know like the storylines there's an overarching story so we're still talking about Teddy Long as we move into a new storyline and you'll see here the British Bulldog versus Kurt Angle that's right so of course we're in video game world, so the, the best thing about Legends Tour is they're back in their prime. It's like using a time machine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we ladies go. And gentlemen, welcome to the first week of the WWE Legends World Tour. This is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. And tonight, we're across the pond in merry old England. I love visiting other countries, JR. You get to learn so much about their cultures. For instance, did you know that they don't actually have English muffins in England? 
and lorries are trucks, and birds have puppies. That's really fascinating, King. As you can see, this Manchester crowd is fired up to see a hometown favorite, the legendary British Bulldog, in action here tonight. So, of course, British Bulldog being in this game, so I'm sure many are familiar with British Bulldog's character model. Uh, it's actually hidden on the first SmackDown vs. Raw disc, and you can access him either by modding, Game Shark, Codebreaker, stuff like that. So, uh, and then when he was in this game, I was pretty excited because then we got him with the proper theme, entrance gear, entrance motion, Tron. So, you know, playing this as a kid, of course, you know, I've talked about a lot of times how, like, my favorite wrestlers are, like, the 97 Heart Foundation guys. So, I was really excited when he was in the game. And the opponent from Pittsburgh, it's Kurt Angle. Detective Kurt Angle. Guess we'll watch this first entrance of the episode. Why not? Cross is laying into me. I like good thing Bulldog's not facing Shawn Michaels as he refused to put him over in his <laughs> home country. That still blows my mind that European title match where Bulldog ended up losing because of Shawn's nonsense. Like. The worst part about that is like he dedicated that match uh, to his sister with cancer. Like, come on now. <laughs> come on now, Sean. <laughs> Crowd's still booing me. Come on. I'm the, I'm the one that freed Tori from her job of buying and selling stocks, all right? By a millisecond. It would have been over. I would have failed that. There's an alternate universe where I didn't have... I had slightly less stamina in the alternate universe and I didn't make it in. That still blows my mind. I haven't gone back and looked at the footage yet, but... Uh, man... I really need to. All right, here we go. Oh, it's my choice. Um, please, no more lockup. Let's go test the strength. On Legend, I seem to lose these ones a lot as well, but I'll go for it. No, you're not a fan of everybody in this match, JR. All right, gotta but match the button before the AI. To this business. Okay. Oh, absolutely, King. Okay. I don't have to like everyone on the roster. To I got him. All right. Usually I, on Legend, I get destroyed on those. Uh, of course, if you're feeling like gambling, you can just guess what the button is and mash. But that's a huge gamble because if you press the wrong button, you just automatically lose. This could get interesting. They're picking their spots. Right, here we go. His opponent telegraphs that one. Telegraphs. We got British Bulldog versus Kurt Angle. It's actually pretty exciting. All right, just so many reversals, boys. There's another one. Yep. <laughs> oh! You're not going to get him with that one. I was about to punch, but the referee walked, so I decided not to. Oh. They snap jab. I'm surprised I reversed that, to be honest. I know he's a Choke him out! Okay, it's just cheese again. I'm not trying to do that. I thought I did a different input, but man, that reversal going into this move. I could probably tap him out on yellow, to be honest. That is ridiculous. What is the deal with that? And is there any other exploits other wrestlers or moveset combinations? We're gonna steal one. We're gonna steal one, boys. Okay. So we're on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. I really do like this story. I'll probably talk more about it as we play because I don't want to spoil the things I remember here. Okay. Interesting choice. I, uh, he did an Irish whip and then into a strong grapple for some reason. Oh! <laughs> that cheap spear, ladies and gentlemen. He countered that and made it look easy. Oh, crowd, crowd chaining Davy Boy here. Let's give him the three rolling Germans, my man. Size him. You know, I'm going to hit him with a taunt after this. Why not? Okay, man, this is really reversal fest. You're not wrong, King. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need to build some momentum here. Let's, let's attempt some dirty grapples. See if we can. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go for it all. Three strikes, strikes into a stronger. Oh, I was too. I was asking too much. Man, you seem like it's pretty generous of them not reversing those strong strikes. Okay, can I... Can I please do a strong grapple? Yes! Finally! Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that Milo before him. But Bulldog's probably got high strength, but that's gotta be a given, right? I'm pretty sure this is another match off the top of my head that the out... Like, if I win or lose, it doesn't make a difference, I think. Still undefeated in the season mode, which I'm kind of surprised to be honest. I don't think there's gonna be anything left. I really should have lost that match against OJ though. That was ridiculous how I managed to pull that off. <laughs> that was absolutely insane. 
Okay, can we, can we get a dirty grapple? Yes! Oh, I tried to combo it. I got greedy. Oh. <laughs> DQ! DQ! I know that's gonna happen in uh, one part here. Like, I feel like the ref just gets in your way and like, you gotta be careful, man. Oh, come on, please reverse. Yes! Yeah. This is the perfect chance for a finisher. Hmm, I could go for a super dirty move. I'm just gonna go for angles. Ah, uh, rip. Yeah, we need a big reversal here. Ah, oh, those... No! Oh! He did those slow punch animations to waste my time. It's smart. Ah, uh, it's gonna run out. Oh, ah, oh, rip. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Still gonna make someone tap out with the uh, ankle lock. Still gonna attempt a possum pin, which... The thing about the possum pin is if you guess wrong or mistime or not mistime it, but uh, yeah, if you guess wrong, well, I guess mistime too, technically, then you actually still lose the finisher. That's why I usually don't use it that much, but I'm sure the computer is going to probably use it on me at some point. Okay, you know what? Combo! He countered. <laughs> oh my, dude, the rest of the way I was scared to strike it. I was just trying to walk away. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Finally, some different moves. Didn't counter. Oh. There we go. All right, see, I'm going to back away, then store. You got to be careful about that. I wish the store finisher was a different input, to be honest. Man, Bulldog's a reversal machine. But then again, so was Orlando Jordan in that one match. Now, here's a real question. Do I really want to be... Oh, no. Do I really want to be risky and go for that double KO animation in a match? Unless that's disabled in story or season mode. I don't think it is, but I really don't remember. Oh, God. Oh, guys, hit me with the ground, the ground maneuvers. Okay. Oh, I actually missed that. Yeah, I need to reverse here. I can't get caught in the vortex of too many ground grapples. I hate when that happens. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go full strike from a grapple here. Didn't work. <laughs> no! Right, it's a pretty good match, though, so far. We're pretty even. Even Steve. Alright. <laughs> I'm not letting go. I'm a heel, brother. Lock it in, my man. Actually, I'm going to let go. I don't want to drain my stamina here. I got his uh, momentum pretty low. Actually, I had pretty good stamina there. Right, I got our Kurt Angle stats. We got him orange. We could try to take it home. Oh, I could have done it. I was, I was actually going to do it, but I reacted too slow. To see a particular superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, see. Oh my gosh, I was going to get the animation there. I was mashing L1. Okay, Irish Whip rebound. Not too useful for Kirk, my finishes from behind. I'm going to go for it. Angle slam! Yes, sir. Oh, this might be a rope break. No? Cover? Oh, he kicked out. I'm going to argue with that. <laughs> Give me that momentum. I'm a heel. Did Ref, come on. Ring the, damn bell. Ring the bell for yelling? Excuse me? Oh, this might be perfect. Angle slam. I'm going to risk it and try to drag him. And he countered the drag. That's why dragging on legend difficulty is honestly not viable. Like, you should just try to push him away. Oh, God, I'm running out of stamina as well. Uh, you should just try to push him or like angle your pin so it uh, moves it a bit. Yeah, I really need stamina yeah, here. Sure have their hands Hold that here select, the brother. They sure do, King. They've got all they can say grace over. Oh god, he rushed me. Right, a lot of backdrops this match. I'm all for it, I guess. That's been going seven minutes, all right. Kicking off the legend tour at the certified classic. Absolutely not. Oh god, this is getting my head yellow, probably. Up after a match. Yep. <laughs> no, he was... See, that, sometimes you can get caught in the vortex, because while you're still standing up, you can still be grappled on the ground. Oh, boy, and if you're not ready, man, you can get wrecked. Alright, there we go, I was ready that time. Oh, okay. Nope, okay, rip. I need some momentum here. 
The momentum swinging in his favor. One running power slam and I'm done. I'm not so sure this one's about no, I can't. I get, man, my ground reversal game this episode has been off to a poor start, I must say. My knee. Especially if you get one of those animations where you're selling too much. I guess I can't argue with that game. Oh God. I just wonder if they'll be able to sell their He's in delay gr Oh God. Okay. Or it's going to wind up bigger than that. Our training angle sucks. Let me have it here. I can't believe he can't Am I finally going to lose the first match? <laughs> I wouldn't be that mad if that happened to be honest. Oh my God. Three. Okay. If he gets one uh, power slam or finisher, I'm done though. Will these superstars be able to withstand enough? <laughs> that might get me geek I think they're pretty intent on finding out. They certainly are. I don't know how it's going to I feel like next one to hit the ref gets dq I feel like he's been hit multiple times. Okay. Oh, my stamina's full. I thought I was low in stamina. Okay. You know what? Give me those environmental grapples, my man. Which way this one's yep. Go. Right. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's man. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR. But I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. Oh God, no! Knows it's been up there for so long. No! That would be no my momentum. Five. My streak. You want, but it's not win you, the match. you know, I got time. I got time. The I'm the guy that got in with like a millisecond left. I got plenty of time. I know what I'm doing. Seven. Oh, he made a big mistake, boys. He made a big mistake. <laughs> Angle slam. He didn't. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna. Are you, what just happened there? <laughs> I was I, I should have just risked it and dragged him because if I would have he probably would have countered it though. It's problems. Oh god, I'm done. He's gonna pin me off that. Oh my god, I, I thought for sure he was gonna pin me off that. Okay, this could go either way at this point. We're almost ten minutes into this match. This is great, Jr. Would you call this one a slot? Yeah, if I can land this, with some good momentum. Yes. Okay. Definitely one hellacious matchup. No doubt about it. I'm so okay. Angle. I keep knocking him towards the ropes. I'm too scared to drag him. He's a slippery devil. Rope break. This is a disaster of a match. <laughs> Certified disaster. All right. Well, it's, I mean, it's a good match, but like. See, things like that, it's like, you're, when he's in the ropes, it's like, do you drag him and risk him countering it, which most of the time the computer does on Legend? Or do you attempt to, like, pin in a certain angle, a certain Kurt angle that, uh, allows him to, uh, get away from the ropes? Oh, God. Yes, I got, got lucky with the ribs animation. He might have pinned me off that. Okay, my stamina management's getting, getting rough here. He countered that one perfectly. Oh, that was a weird sequence. Okay, the big chop block here, not bad. No, no. There we go. I have not been utilizing that move. No, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to store. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, I've actually had enough. I've had enough, Bulldog. This is a good match, but only from the fact that I've wasted so many finishers. Oh, it's over. I'm gonna get pinned off this, aren't I? No, okay. Either that or I counter the drag. Me too. It almost makes it worth having to sit next to you and listen to those corny expressions. Corny expressions. I feel like the angle slam in general, I get, uh, I knock him towards the ropes like a lot, man. Ah. Oh, I got Jared's barbecue ribs. Rip. I'm getting a translator before I have to come out here with you again. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting wrecked. Reverse the reversal though. Finally. I tell you, King. <laughs> I'm just I'm wasting my stamina. Oh my god. He's a reversal machine. I know what you mean, JR. Dude, oh my god. Give me it. Finally, okay. I really need stamina here. You've got to have some excellent conditioning. Oh my. This is this is a crazy match to open up the episode. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image. Okay, well, that was an interesting sequence. I tried to stomp on him while he's doing the ribs. I don't think I want to know quite frankly. He's getting up so fast. Okay. No. Wow. This is insane. Oh no, he's gonna pin me off a strike. Don't do this. Oh, big reverse. All right, if I can land it. <laughs> Bulldog, please. Oh, God. I need to roll out of the ring big time here. Okay, I thought he was going to do it. I was ready to reverse. 
can be any guy <laughs> that was tough so now here's the problem here is the big problem here um if i get hit with the possum pin i'm gonna lose unless i'm on orange damage then potentially i won't but you talk about ruthless aggression look at the way these superstars have been going after each other they're not playing with kid gloves all right that's for sure Angles near the ropes again, man. I'm just gonna go for the drag. Oh my god. I actually hit the drag without getting countered. Cover! Did you see that? Did you see his his uh, finisher go away? He almost landed a possum pin on me. Oh my god. What a match. And only because of the fact <laughs> I got like rope breaks, countered finishers. That was ridiculous, man. Oh my god. And that was a match that meant nothing because there was no dialogue. So if I would have lost, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But Jesus, man. This is what legend difficulty gets you. I mean, I can see why some people were agreeing to turn it down. But I mean, just because I haven't lost yet, I don't want to. I don't want it to be easier than it is. It would definitely lead to some more move variety. But man, I don't know. I mean, hard is a lot more fun to play on. But I want that challenge, brother, I guess. <laughs> You're just the cat I'm looking for, Daddy -o. There we go. It's Jimmy Hart. Ladies, can you give us a minute? All right, me and Chris are gonna head off to TNA Impact. See you later, Tori. <laughs> when Vince McMahon made me the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, tour general manager. I told him that I was going to put some of the greatest WWE legends against some of the top WWE superstars of today. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. Especially coming from a veteran manager like yourself. I was surprised how good you looked in that match against the British Bulldog last week. I mean, after all, he's the former tag team champion, the intercontinental champion, the European champion and the hardcore champion. Yes, sir. You were surprised that I look good against the Bulldog? Well, Jimmy, with all due respect to the Bulldog, he's one of the true legends of this business. But I'm a legend in the making. Well, you know what they say. One match does not a legend make. Anyway, tonight, you're scheduled to face one of the greatest superstars ever to set foot in the WWE ring. And a man I know very, very well He's a five-time WWE champion and the greatest member of the legendary Hart Foundation. I'm talking about Canada's favorite son, Brett the Hitman Hart. Big pop. Here we go. The Hitman, huh? Bret Hart's one of the all-time greats, no doubt about it. And if I beat him here tonight, I'll be one step closer to becoming a legend myself. Hey now, don't get cocky, Daddy-O. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be as good in the ring as you seem to be with the ladies. Because the excellence of execution requested a submission match. And I gave it to him. He said something about putting the past behind him here tonight. A submission match, huh? Well, it wouldn't be the first time Bret Hart tapped out in Montreal to a legend in the making. See you <laughs> Jesus, come on now. By the way, this might actually be our first loss, unless I use that cheap uh, choke strat, which I really don't want to. Uh, this is like, submissions on Legend in general are very hard, but then we got Brett with the high submission stat, so honestly, DQ's off, but I don't know if that's really gonna help us. I really wanna try to end it with an ankle lock, but I really won't be surprised if our streak comes to an end here. Uh, but yeah, like I've ever seen this as a kid, that, that line about, Brett tapping in Montreal again kind of got me mad as a kid, but you know, <laughs> um, you know, it is what it is. But this is actually going to be really hard if I try to win with the ankle lock, which I'm going to try to do, but we'll see. But don't be surprised if the streak comes to an end. I mean, we can use submission type Bs, but I really want to get, really want to try to use that ankle lock. We'll see how it goes. The match takes too long. We'll just go for like a chokehold or something. All right, Kurt Angle. By the way, the interesting thing about this, Kurt Angle versus Bret Hart, this is, 
Like, you know, people talk about their dream matches. This would be my dream match. Prime Kurt Angle, Prime Bret Hart. It'd be so good. Um, like, there's so many different ways this match could, like, happen. Like, depending on who's face or who's heel, what the storyline is. And just the match itself would be great. It's kind of funny because, like, Kurt talked about in, like, an interview. Like, he tried to get Bret for a match at, like, WrestleMania 20 or something. Good evening, and welcome to week two of the WWE Legends World Tour. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside, and tonight, we're coming to you from Montreal, Quebec. And man, what a show we got tonight, Cole. Some huge names in WWE history are on the card, including this man, a real Canadian legend, Bret the Hitman Hart. Everyone knows that Bret Hart has some very unhappy memories right here in Montreal. It's likely to be an uphill battle for his opponent in this submission match. And you've got the figure that Brett's out to exercise those demons here tonight. All right. Well, like I was saying, like, Kurt talked about that in an interview, but Brett didn't want to do it because he didn't think, you know, well, he knew it wouldn't live up to, like, the Bret Hart standard of matches, you know, because this is, like, post-stroke. Uh, you know, he's obviously, like, older, retired, the, the injury and all that. So I guess it's, it's always fun to think about dream matches and all that, what could have been, you know, but still. But, by the way, how funny would it be if our season streak comes to an end to Brett? That'd be pretty ironic. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Not feeling too confident about this match, but... Oh, well. And that Bulldog match took way too long, though. That's, like... That's, like, the clear demonstration of why Legend difficulty doesn't lead to, like, a more fun experience. But it's just more of a challenge. Okay, he, he reversed and did absolutely nothing. Oh my god. By the way, Brett with the high tech stat, like this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh my god. Welcome to Reversal Fest 2.0. Oh, and he catches me with like a normal submission. We gotta work the leg. We gotta prioritize here. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, honestly, like, from like a standard of like trying to like win, like, ankle lock's probably not even our best bet because it's submission type A. Okay, this is gonna be insane. Yeah, like, <laughs> like everyone reverses the Lion Legend, but then you get guys like you know your Bret Hart, Kurt Angles, Chris Benoit. Like it's it's rip right there. I mean, I'm holding my own pretty well here, though. I almost got a finisher. Oh god! <laughs> All right, can we can we stop? Oh my god! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ah, oh, it's going for it. German. All right, here we go. This is completely oh, I, I feel like going after the legs is a mistake, but I really need at least one ankle lock victory in this season playthrough. Great reversal. Great, Paul Burchill. Reverse the reversal, boys. You already know. We've seen this before. Here we go. Give me the momentum. And by the way, just like all the other uh, SmackDown games and submission matches, they don't let you leave the ring. I always wondered why, but I guess the idea is like they don't want you using weapons, maybe, or like just it's a pure wrestling match. Is the idea so you're not leaving the ring? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Oh my god! So many reversals. <laughs> All right, big roll up. Not sure I agree with the strategy in a submission match, but it was a bold move, I must say. Oh my god! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Right here. All right, here we go. Kick to inside of leg, my favorite move of all time. You know what? He countered. I feel like I'm not even going to be able to land an ankle lock unless I do that toe kick counter animation. Maybe I should try for that. Okay, reverse the reversal. You already know. If you're a legend, you know. Yep. Get, a, get some damage at least. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hole, Cole. This is going to be a pure wrestling match, boys. No rolling out of the ring. No taking off the turnbuckle pad. Here we go. That My dream match, boys. <laughs> if I can actually win with the ankle lock, I'll be surprised. Let's try some submission grapples. Like, wh why, why not? Come on. Are, no. <laughs> the likelihood of landing a strong grapple is going to be very, very low. Yeah, we, we, it seems like they don't really counter the uh, grapple. <laughs> Never mind. The pride Jesus, the dude. Might be the only thing that's them uh, I, can, I have a chop block from behind, but he keeps countering it every time I try. Oh, God. My back! Oh, 
Okay. No, I haven't been able to land a single grapple move on him. Oh god, I'm yellow already. Oh my god. Alright, welcome to Stompathon. Reversal fest and Stompathon. That's where I'm living right now. Jeez, alright. I feel like the ankle lock is gonna be my downfall. I should probably stop, but I can't help myself. Alright, he's clean, so he's not gonna hold on to it, so that helps a bit. Where we can actually hold on to it. Look at these fans. I went for the combo. Oh my, dude, I can't land any strong grapples on Brett. <laughs> Legend! Legends difficulty, Legends Tour. How funny would it be if they forced you to play on Legend difficulty for the Legends Tour? That'd be pretty funny, but I guarantee you that would have upset a lot of kids back in the day. Even people now, because, like, honestly, if you're looking for, like, your first playthrough of SBR 06, I really don't recommend playing on Legend, to be honest with you. Give, give me some stamina. Okay, I'm going to go for one punch, immediate grapple move. Oh. <laughs> okay, Cross Channing Hitman, they're firmly behind him. Solid match so far, like 90 reversals so far. Alright, come on. Alright, this will do some good damage, alright. I'll be able to hold on when he gets the ropes, too. This is actually going to be ideal. There's no way I'm going to be able to move the thing. Oh, he's not even... It's another one of those situations where he's not fighting back. What on earth? Straight, what triggers that, then? What did I do before that? I can't rewind the footage right now while it's recording. Strange. Sometimes they just don't fight back. I really don't remember that being a thing. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't remember that being a thing. Okay, I just walked to the side of that into chop block. Okay, this is not what I meant to do, but alright, I guess. He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. He anticipated that move right. perfectly. Okay, I've reversed that reversal like multiple times in a row now. Not too shabby. <laughs> Still can't land a submission grapple. I've actually been actively trying. To these competitors tonight. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You got any others like, uh, I don't know, nobody wants right, to here we go. Or, uh, Grabbing the tights the in a submission match. Interesting strat. Led into a chop block, though, boys. All right, here we go. Oh Ankle lock! Pull him away. Yep. Oh, man. Ah, see, he's actually actively moving this time. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. All right. I'm gonna go for it again! <laughs> hey, come on! I have a battery near me. We can't bust out the battery if the match goes too long. Uh, there's no way unless I bust out the battery or it triggers that thing where, like, he doesn't fight back. And wow, I didn't get him orange. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> One stomp there, though, of course. It was that close. Oh god. He's using my own strategies of strikes overriding grapples. Yeah, finally. I don't <laughs> have I landed a single strong grapple on Brett. Oh, you know how badly I want to land that toe kick into ankle lock. I think that if one of these Hip. Big German. Move, Can we bait it? Come on, do it. Just because it's called Oof. a finisher doesn't mean it always I mean, I'm holding my own, but if I if I mess around too much, it's going to be my downfall here. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving getting that chop block off. There we go. Kick the inside of leg. And there's a reason for that, Taz. There are no off seasons here in the WWE. Oh, I was mashing. If he would have done toe kick, I would have had it there. No! Submission type B. I might be all right. I'll be all right. I'm yellow. Oh my God. I'm, I'm having that. Jesus. 
<laughs> I'm having that toe kick. I'm ready for it. Ooh. Keeps doing that spinning. I I still feel like Brett's moveset is terrible in this game in SmackDown versus Raw. Like, who made that? Step forward now and take the blame. Could have done a much better job on it. Ooh, okay, that's good animation. And to kick it inside, inside of leg. The greatest move of all time. Oh my god, I was ready, but I walked away. Okay, I should stop playing like that. Playing defensive like that is not good. I should just make it happen naturally. Oh! The stamina is low. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's I still haven't landed a grapple. <laughs> With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much as Oh my god, I didn't hit it quick enough. I I don't know why my brain froze. I panicked. Do it again. Damn it. <laughs> you never know what to expect from me. There's the reversal call. Okay. He countered it, rip. <laughs> These superstars are so Hip! Okay, we got him reeling here at the stamina, boys. What you're going to do next? Don't bother, Cole. I don't think you're going to be able to. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far. Okay. I, I tried no to kick myself there. I got countered. Okay, another good reversal animation here. Okay, I want to get his legs red before we go into the ankle lock, but I mean, I might as well. Oh boy. Okay, chop lock. No, okay. If I can. I know I have a submission grapple that targets the legs, but I can't land it. Oh, romp and stomp and headlock. It's back. And he got out immediately. I I have the romp and stomp and headlock. If you don't know what that is, watch the Christian story playthrough on SVR. Oh god, he's gonna waste my finisher, isn't he? I could be a savage and make him lose to the sharpshooter in Montreal, but as a Bret Hart fan, guys, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> no! Oh no, I can't because I'm a heel. I can't steal finishers. Never mind. Okay, I've had like multiple ankle locks counted in a row. Oh, we got him reeling. We got him reeling. He countered again. I mean, I guess really if you think about it, the toe kick into ankle lock is a lot safer because I don't think they can counter that to my knowledge, right? Or can they? I don't remember. I want to say no. It, I feel like it rarely happens in gameplay, you know? Night after night, the oh my, zero, still zero landed grapples, guys. I, I just got to point that out. And that's a good thing, Cole. I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Brett, please. This is going to be the longest episode yet. Delayed strike? I had it scouted though. Oh god, Brett is turning it up. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No oh my, zero landed grapples. I might as well just give up at this point on him. It's not gonna happen. Oh, I tried to punch him out of that. Alright, turning up the aggression. I'm turning up the aggression. He countered it again. <laughs> I, I'm about to just do a regular move. I don't want to, but like, Brett counters literally everything. All right, fine. Okay, well, <laughs> never mind. I'm just gonna let it go. There's no point. Um, if I can just get that ankle lock, man, I have the battery if I need it. All right, please. These WWE fans are getting their money's worth. Big drop kick. All right. I'm sure they will by the end of I mean, if I can at least land my submission grapples, I'd have a chance. But, like, I've only landed one, that romp and stomp and headlock. How much can these superstars possibly have left? Yep. <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, we got him reeling on the stamina, but it's not really mattering too much at all. I can imagine. Nothing pushes you to the limit quite like a WWE match. I don't even know why I'm going for this. <laughs> no! I'm getting wrecked, my man. Okay, hit him with the robot there. Now, you know what? 
Take that stamina, my dude. Oh! I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat oh. to win. Oh. <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go for one more ankle lock, and if he counters it, I'm done with it. I I can't take it anymore. You know the key to winning a match like this is to build some momentum, and you're not gonna see a match one with. That's it. Aggression. The aggressor is online. The aggressor is online. Could change the direction of it completely. I thought I could have sworn I saw his stamina empty and he never got the animation. And I think these Are you kidding me? Oh <laughs> Referee is out, boys. <laughs> okay, it's stamina management. Or we got him reeling, I guess, but still. <laughs> that's not the real Bret Hart, that's a robot. Look at these superstars, Cole. I mean, they're not even contemplating the fact that they might lose here tonight. They sacrificed so Ooh. much to get in the test. <laughs> I don't think they can allow that oh. to their heads. I, dude, it's impossible. All right. Well, we got one more ankle lock. Then we're just going to bust out the chokeholds, boys. Oh, he's going to get the ribs and the lost uh, stamina. Oh, why am I even trying? I should just be doing strikes at this point. Oh, JR's barbecue ribs. Two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. <laughs> what a bizarre sequence. All right. He countered again. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I lied. One more. Uh, what I'm going to do is stop and then immediately do it and see if I can land it that way. You never quite know exactly what you're going to say. All right, schoolboy, of course. I was actually trying to do that, but all right. What is this camera angle? I can't remember the last time I seen a. I'm, I'm just gonna strike out of this. I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. Look at that. I actually landed. I don't know if that stopped. That was probably just a coincidence. All right. You know what? I'm just busting out the battery. I'm not even risking it. It's been going 15 minutes. This is not sponsored by Duracell! Oh my dude, batteries failed me for the first time in my life. Oh my god. Is that even a Duracell battery? Was that like alkaline or something? This one could still go either way, Cole. Alright, this is honestly ridiculous, so I don't If I can just land the uh, ground grapple chokehold, I think it'll be over. Please. Oh my, do I dare try another ankle lock? My ribs. I really dumb enough to try another ankle lock. It's it's not gonna happen. If it was submission type B, it would definitely happen. You know what? Angle slam. <laughs> That's, oh, it's a submission type A. Yeah. All right, we're going back to Duracell. It's doing that thing where he's not fighting back. I don't even need the battery. What triggers that? I don't understand. I genuinely have no memory of that being a thing in this game. If I would have done angle slam into ankle lock, would that have triggered it? I don't even know what triggers it, though. I thought it was something to do with them being dazed or stunned, but it happens when they're on the ground, too. All right, well, gee, I'm looking at the recording time. This is 44 minutes. I've only done two matches. Holy Toledo. <laughs> I just, just, that was like the ultimate demonstration of facing a high technique guy uh, or technical guy on Legend. It's honestly crazy how much they reverse. Like, it, it kind of makes you wonder if that was a dir direct response to people thinking the previous two games were a little bit too easy. I don't know, but they went wild. You know, I saw Bret Hart's submission match last week, and it brought back a lot of memories. Not all of them good. Matter of fact, Jimmy Hart asked me not to come to last week's show in Montreal because he wanted to avoid... An incident. 
and to avoid the nuclear heat <laughs> nuclear heat one if he did show up jr but you know looking back on it i think it's ridiculous that two grown men can't stand face to face and lay a 10 year old grudge to rest you gotta wait five more years sean i know you're in the arena tonight so why don't you come out here and shake hands and let's let bygones be bygones that's a classy move by Shawn Michaels. He's offering to shake hands with Bret Hart and bury the hatchet once and for all. Maybe so, but do you think Bret is really going to do it? <laughs> no, it's Kurt Angle. He might be a legend in the making, but he's no Bret Hart. That's for damn sure. HBK, as I understand it, this tour is about putting future legends like myself in the ring with legendary WWE superstars. No, I'm sorry that you've got a guilty conscience, but maybe you should air your dirty laundry on your own time. See, I've got no problem with going. Hey, if you insist on sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, you're going to have a problem in a hurry. I'm a four-time world champion, an intercontinental champion, and a tag team champion. I'm the first Triple Crown champion in WWE history. But if that's not enough to earn your respect, then maybe a little sweet chin music will. Easy, son. I don't mean any disrespect. I know you've accomplished a lot in the past, and that's perfect for a WWE Legends tour like this one. But let's be honest. When it comes to the future, you have to wonder which one of us has more legendary moments left down the line, if you know what I mean. You know, you're partly right. I've already left more blood, sweat, and tears in that ring than you ever will. But when it comes to the heartbreak, kid, like they say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Damn. Stopper came out here to make peace with Bret Hart, but now we have a potentially explosive situation in the ring. It's Jimmy Hart. <laughs> Stays trying to calm down Bret Hart all evening. And I've got to tell you, he's as angry as I've ever seen him. So since he wants a piece of you, HBK, and since you two want a piece of each other, I'm just going to put all three of you in the ring for a triple threat match tonight. Right here in Berlin, Germany. Big pop. Cheap pop, that's right. <laughs> that sounds fine to me. Tonight, We'll find out if HBK really stands for has been kid. Damn. <laughs> A goofy looking sweet chin music. Take some of the spring out of his step. Maybe next time he'll think twice before running his mouth to a raw legend like Shawn Michaels. I love how in this, like, when they get hit with the move, like, they just lay completely still. <laughs> like, look at that. Kurt was just dead, dude. Oh, it's hilarious. All right, so triple threat match. Kurt Angle, Bret Hart, and Shawn Michaels. This sounds great, to be honest. But yeah, I remember always wishing, like, the uh, Bret and Shawn peace thing in real life would have happened way earlier than 2010. I'm still glad it happened, but I always wanted them to bury that, like, way before. Like, I guess around this era, so to say. It's kind of funny, because, like, around this time, like, 05, there's that uh, infamous thing where Shawn like calls out brett and they cue his music but he's not actually there in canada and the crowd just <laughs> is going crazy huge pop for brett's music and then when sean you know reveals it was all a ruse like gets it that like, insane heat it's ridiculous man it's sean michaels with entrance gear very nice All right, this will be a little bit easier because it's not a submission match. That was honestly ridiculous, dude. I really thought I was gonna... Like, the thing about that is, like... I felt fine the whole time. It's just, like, the fact that I couldn't land any grapples, it made it take forever. And the fact that my ankle lock got reversed, like, nine times in a row. <laughs> or whatever it was. And it's submission type A, and I can't believe the battery failed me. I guess because it's Brett. That probably would have worked in somebody else, maybe, but... Man, that's rough. 
All right, so if there's dialogue here, I won't skip. If there is, um, and the opponent, or if there's not, then I will skip. It's Bret Hart. Yeah, this is like a story that always stuck with me because, you know, Brett's in it. And unfortunately, Brett, I'll, I'll just spoil it. I'm sure some people already know this. Brett does not have any voiceover. Um, you know, this is still at the time his relationship was like kind of weird with WWE. Like, like they did the DVD, like I think in 04. So like it was appearing in games and all that stuff, but like not really on TV at all. Like there was that thing during the Raw. Um, or no, yeah, during the... No, it was like Mr. McMahon Appreciation Night where like he appeared to like just unload on him or whatever. But yeah, it'd be a while before he came back, you know, like 2010, which was great. <laughs> but it sucks he couldn't get any voiceover for this game. So like he's in the storyline, but like he's just a mute. So that's a big rip right there. All right, clean, dirty finishing moves, boys. All right, here we go. Got three all-time great performers. Let's see what we can do. How can Shawn <laughs> Did you see that link of a reverse strikes? That was crazy. It went between two different people. I actually landed a grapple move on Brett. Is that real? Oh my god. Alright, come here, Shawn. And of course, the Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels rivalry was... Fantastic, you know, they had an amazing match at WrestleMania. Oh, Sean just got screwed over by auto targeting. And so did I. <laughs> I love watching Kurt Angle in the ring. I hope he breaks someone's ankle tonight. Right, let's get the classic Shawn Michaels spot like here. You ready? Since when is seriously oh my god. A measure of how great a superstar you he countered that one perfectly. I, I guess I, I was allowed my one grapple grapple move on Brett. The submission has been expertly applied, no, missed, and now it's just a matter of time. That's right, JR. You've either got to break the whole... G okay, I wasn't expecting him to come after me there. German. Might be a little bit easier to land grapples, I guess, if they're focused on the other person, maybe? I don't know. He's a slippery devil. It's just chaos. And I always feel like, too, I think I talked about this in the first uh, SmackDown vs. Raw playthrough. I feel like when the, whoever, like, the people that were making Brett's moveset, they use Sean's as a template and then just change a bunch of stuff around. It's not like a carbon copy of Sean, but I feel like a lot of the moves just went unchanged. I don't know why they would have done that, because they're two completely different performers. Like, they could have done a much better job on Brett's moveset. Yeah, shot block. <laughs> Let's not have a 15 minute match here. See if we can get this one quick. There we go. Brett, just let this happen. No, he's prioritizing interrupting it. Jesus, alright. Okay, we're not going to make the mistake of trying to store it right there because we'll just use the ankle lock. Oh my. I'm just allowed to hit this move on Brett, I guess? Problem with it, maybe you should do something about it, JR. I feel like some of the crowd, I think I talked about this already though, but I think some of the crowd chants go on too long, in my opinion. It can actually be kind of annoying if you get the boring chant, which seemed to happen a lot. Did you see that? Ring the damn bell! Ring the damn bell. Angle slam! That was a pretty cool sequence. Can I get some yellow cheese? There's no way. Zero, zero percent chance, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if yellow cheese is that common in this game. I want to say no, but I really don't remember. I'm sure these competitors I, I guess I should mention, if you don't know what yellow cheese is, careful. kind of a term I use when you pin somebody off a yellow, which is a little unfair in my opinion. Doesn't really happen that often, though. Okay, we actually got Brett more hurt than Sean. I gotta be careful because there's actually DQs and triple threats for some reason. A big fruit roll up from Brett. Angle slam! I was just mashing because I knew somebody was gonna be stunned off of that awkward sequence. Alright. Double team move? Okay, auto targeting screwed me over. 
Should have switched to manual to be honest. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices. Ah, oh, I was gonna throw them into each other in the corner, but Brett reversed. I know. It really is like being married to your career. I, I've been really doing that chop line. I was only doing that a lot last match to work on the leg. Alright, finally, we landed another move on Brett. I can't believe it. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. Angle slam. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Throw Brett in the corner. I'm really surprised he didn't counter that. Cover! Ref, come on! What? Big zero! What on earth? Does he not know that's my finish? It looks like these superstars are looking for an opening. And the first one to find one will take control of this. Oh my god. This is just chaos. I mean, I guess at least with triple threats, you know. It's not just constant reversal because the next guy's ready to do a move. We're gonna steal one. Nah, there's no way. Oh god, I need to store this. Put this finisher in the fridge. It's gonna expire like milk. Alright, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to get my stamina back. <laughs> Alright, Sean just keeps exiting the ring. It's so annoying. That's what I talk about with the AI. enough just to win a match. You've got to make it clear who's the dominant superstar. I hear it. Finally, there's a different move. Finally, I'm able to land some moves on him. Excellent counter. What ring present? Now, here we go. Rolling Germans, brother, with the camera angles. I'll take it. Seem to be too concerned about his opponent, JR. All right, I've had about, about had enough of Sean, to be honest with you. It's not over yet, and you never know what might happen. He can hit his finisher right now. Whoa. Okay, that was a bizarre sequence. Oh, I actually wasn't even trying to leave the ring. Oh god, come on, I need to use this. I can do double angle slam potentially. No, come on, the dream! The angle slam dream! Oh, here we go. Angle slam! No, he he pulled the cheese on me, grabbing me when I'm trying to get up. Oh, he did a long animation to rip the dream. Plus, in general, I feel like this game's recovery is pretty quick, so... Well, it was worth a shot. He saw that one coming. Oh god. They're on the attack. I have no damage somehow though. I don't think these superstars have any intention of Oh god. It easy on Sean <laughs> I swear Sean is playing like he's a heel against Hulk Hogan or something. I think these fans would be disappointed if they didn't. I mean I guess Sean would be dirty at this time, right? I mean, I guess it's relant to whatever storyline you're in. Okay, Sean, get in here. Oh, I mean, obviously, yeah, they're chanting HBK sucks. This is 05, so it makes sense. I'm just gonna assume Brett's not getting in in time. No, that was a mistake. Because everyone just keeps hiding outside the ring. There we this go. I always did that move as Brett to work on the legs. I've had enough. I've had enough of everyone. I've had enough! You hear me? Look at him not helping Brett out here. Look at this. Can't let go. Man, it took a lot of his momentum. Oh my god! I've had enough. I tell you, King. 15 minute classics the entire episode. How these superstars Legend 2 are living up to his name. His that one. Okay. Oh my god, my plan failed because Sean slid out of the ring. Pick a body part and keep working on it. And we're certainly seeing the results of that strategy now. Because the thing about them recovering fast in this game is. Like, if I do the angle slam, then throw Brett out of the ring, that's a good strat, but Brett can also grab me when I'm trying to stand back up is the problem with the angle slam. Ooh, wee. Angle slam. All right, we got to get Brett here. What a reversal. Of course he reversed it. Of course, he's going to be... He's going to recover in time. Damn, man. Okay. Yo, one, Sean. Sean, make a mistake. <laughs> oh, come on down. Yes, you can see uh, the difficulty here with Legend is pretty, pretty wild. Insult to injury, Jr. And I think it's 
<laughs> Stop doing that, schoolboy. Oh, God. I somehow still have absolutely no damage, which I'm really shocked about. Alright, big reversal. Ah, uh, do I... Oh my god, Sean, I swear to god. Did you expect anything less, JR? I mean, look who's in the ring right now. No, I didn't. But right reverse is like nearly every grapple attempt, so like... I could go for the angle slam on Brett and throw Sean out of the ring. Then maybe he's not smart enough to realize how dangerous. What a move! Okay, we're gonna try it. Sean is so annoying. This is great, JR. Okay, <laughs> mistakes were made on Sean's part. All right, whatever. <laughs> Cover. <laughs> the arrogance of Shawn Michaels costing the match. My God. All right. <laughs> this. I'm, somehow we still haven't lost with this. I'm, I really don't know how. I'm out of here. Boo all you want, crowd. It's over. I won. See you later. Oh my god! That's Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold is here! <laughs> Jimmy, you better get out of there, my man! Oh no. Alright, no middle fingers. Look how awkward this looks. I remember seeing that as a kid and be like, are you serious? Austin just stunned Jimmy Hart. For once I agree with Austin. Stone cold. Stone cold. Oh, we've got combustible elements here, King. Alright, see you later. He's dead! <laughs> but since when did the authority of Mr. McMahon ever mean anything to Stone Cold Steve Austin? Oh, hell yeah. Oh my... Yeah, I remember seeing that stunner animation as a kid and be like, are you serious? Somebody approved that. Good lord, dude. Alright, continue on. Oh, Michael's on the loading screen, the man who was showboating too much. The WWE Legends World Tour continues this week. Down under in Melbourne, Australia. And Taz, here comes none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. So this is a little WWE Legends Tour? Is that right? The greatest superstars of all time under one roof? But Stone Cold Steve Austin ain't even on the card. You think you can have a Legends Tour without Stone Cold Steve Austin? Eh, eh. <laughs> Hell, there ain't never been a bigger WWE superstar than me. So if y'all want to see Stone Cold in this damn show, give me a hell yeah. Well, there you have it. So Jimmy Hart, you scrawny little pencil neck bastard, I suggest you put on your cheap sunglasses and your little zoot suit and bring your 98 pound ass down to this ring before Stone Cold comes back here and sticks that damn megaphone so far up your ass they'll be able to hear your silent but deadlies in the back row. Damn, he's dead though. He got stunned and didn't move. <laughs> here comes <Jim. laughs> animation. Do not look pleased to see Austin here tonight. Brilliant observation, lady lips. This is two weeks in a row Austin has taken over the show. And not for nothing, something's got to give one way or another. Look, Austin. It's true, you might be one of the greatest superstars of all time. But your actions last week are exactly the sort of thing I wanted to avoid. I mean, let's face it, Daddy-O. You're not the easiest guy to keep under control. I watched you put Vince McMahon through hell and back in the day. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you do the same to me. Now, despite not being formally invited, you managed to interfere anyway. And the fact is, I simply can't let you do that anymore. So we can do this the easy way, where you can just leave the ring and don't come back, or we can do this the hard way. 
<laughs> Hell, Jimmy. You know the Stone Cold Steve Austin ain't never done nothing the easy way in his whole damn life. All right, Steve. If that's the way you want it, then I guess I've got no choice but to call in the big guns. It's Kurt Angle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Before you Why do don't even... you hold on just one damn second, you mealy mouth bastard? <laughs> this is what you call the big guns? No, no. That's not who I was talking about. Get back to the locker room and stay there. This has nothing to do with you. Look, I joined this tour to face WWE legends in the ring. Not to sit on the sidelines and watch them beat the hell out of each other. Jimmy, if you're gonna up the ante, I want in. Well, that's just fine for the mouth of the South. I've got a couple of special surprises I've been saving for something like this. We'll see you two in the ring for a tag team match later tonight. Well, normally Stone Cold don't like surprises, but now that you mention it, Here's one for you. Oh no, Jimmy! <laughs> Get him! Hart wasn't surprised after all. Not for nothing. After last week, oh my God! To have a case of amnesia. Nothing ready for that one. It don't matter who you bring to this damn ring. There ain't never gonna be a legend as big as me. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Austin laying down the law. I wonder who mocap Steve Austin. <laughs> I really don't think it was actually him. There's no way. Oh my god, here we go. Kurt Angle and Stone Cold versus Hulk Hogan, The Rock with Jimmy Hart. Oh boy. Well, here we go. The Legends Tour picks up. It really wants to be the longest episode with the longest matches. You can't deny that at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> Stone Cold! Stone Cold! The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 That's a pounds, nice angle right there. Stone Cold, Steve Austin! My God! It's all right, folks. The stunner looks much better in-game than in the cutscenes. I can assure you that. Actually, you know something that's coming to my mind? Or no, is he actually doing the middle finger? I can't tell, hold on. Or is he just putting up his index finger with that cheese? Oh, that's actually his middle finger. So why in the cutscene did he not do it in the, like, the middle finger thing in the cutscene when he stunned Jimmy Hart? Huh. Bizarre. By the way, imagine at this time just seeing this match on, on SmackDown in 2005, all these big names. All right, see if there's commentary dialogue. I don't think there is. There might be for the other team, but I don't know if there is for us. Let's see. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Doesn't seem like it. I think it would have kicked in already. All right. Still undefeated in the season mode, which to be honest, I'm not really sure how with this storyline with oh these crazy God, matches. It's The Rock, the people's champ, is one of Jimmy Hart's surprise legends, and he returns to action right here tonight. Direct from Hollywood, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment is in the house. Just listen to this ovation. That's right, his tattoo is removed, ladies and gentlemen, for this time. <laughs> it's The Rock. It's funny how the music volume doesn't raise back up after the commentary dialogue. Yeah, this is a huge zoom out. That was sick, dude. It's The Rock. By the way, fun fact about my playthroughs, I'm pretty sure in every game I've done a playthrough as, uh, in the, like, whether it's the main playthrough or the bonus playthrough, we have used The Rock every single time. So I guess will that continue in the uh, bonus stuff of SVR06. I think part of me kind of always like even though this rock model is pretty cool I think part of me always wished like um they would have used like a more current rock like this is 05 so he's gone at this point but maybe like a 04 or 03 rock model these games Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is 
here. He and Jimmy Hart go back years, but I never expected to see Hogan here tonight. Hulkamania is running wild, Cole, and it's going to be the Hulkster teamed up with The Rock? you got to be kidding me. This one's going to be a rocket buster for sure. <laughs> By the way, like Bulldog gets to access the time machine to be in this time. Rock gets to access the time machine to go back. But Hulk Hogan does not. This is modern Hogan, not 80s Hogan. The Hulkster is here with his low volume entrance theme. Jim will look it on. By God, look at that, brother. How am I going to overcome this? I mean, I got Austin on my side here. Oh my god, look at the truck. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is a match happening on SmackDown, folks. If you bought tickets to the arena and Hogan and Rock showed up on uh unadvertised, you'd be having a great time, I can tell you that for sure. Alright. Here we go. Kurt Angle and Hogan. Oh, delayed strike strat did not work. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. You look at any other sport in the world, All right. you will find a single athlete this is just... <laughs> what, what is going on here? Can, can we... Right, I don't know why I'm going after Hogan. Oh, uh, Rock with his fake wake-up taunt move. I was going to follow up. Oh, running grapple. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, this should be an interesting match. Watch it. He reversed it. All right, hold on. This is how you pop the crowd, all right? If this is really happening around this time, we haven't seen, you know, Austin and Rock for a while. Kurt Angle is such a phenomenal Tagging Austin, the crowd goes crazy. Actually, it'd be more so the spot would be like, I tag in Austin while the Rock's standing in the middle of the ring, and they, they come down and stare down, and the crowd goes wild. And there's the counter, Cole. I went for a cheap punch. Oh, Rock's retreating? No, it was a fake retreat. You know what? If Rock and Austin want to fight, uh, I'm gonna enjoy my Dr. Pepper. Dude, I mean, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Stop! Wait, hold up. I, I didn't put it. No, he reversed. The cap is not on my Dr. Pepper. If I knock it over, I'm screwed. Oh god. I don't remember what the Rock's technique stat is, but then again, it's still legend. So. Nice, Paul Burchill. Oh, here we go. Hulkster in. Hulkster's in the room. You know he's on the move. Dude, this is going to end a DQ. We've already hit the ref twice if we're not careful here. I really don't want this <laughs> like this mega star power match to end like that. There we go. Okay, how was I focused on Rock there? What on earth? All right, welcome to Reversal Vest. <laughs> oh, that guy. Austin wants in. All right, Austin Hogan. The match we always wanted. Okay. Oh, God. Austin, help. Wow, I'm already yellow. That's kind of shocking to me, actually. Right, we actually need Austin's support here. We're getting wrecked. But it's not. It's not a disqualification. Oh no. If this gets my head yellow, then I'm in a really bad spot. Okay. I don't think this is just Man, they're making good quick tags. Like, they're, how are they working together so good here? Alright, there we go. Oh my god, ref. Ref. <laughs> okay. Oh, the news coming. Alright, you know, fine, fine. Seems like when they're walking away to their apron, they tend to reverse, like, almost every time, it seems. I can take another swig of this Dr. Pepper and actually put the cap on. Wish I could play as Austin, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, you're playing as your character, but... I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a game that removed the hot swapping between your partners, but... It all, maybe that's not the case. Maybe the hot swapping still exists. It's either mapped to something else, or the fact that I'm not controlling both by default, I can't do it. Cheap punch, cheap punch, cheap punch. <laughs> With a broken freaking neck. What? How can you say that, Cole? That's pre-
They got the tag. Oh god. By the way, I don't know how some people feel about commentary that interrupts depending on actions. I, I wonder if most people prefer. Oh god. Okay. Uh, if most people prefer like they finish what they're saying, or prioritize what's happening. You know. Because sometimes you're listening to some good dialogue and it just gets interrupted. You know. Oh my god, dude, I haven't been able to land like a grapple in forever. It's alright though. Part of the challenge, I guess, boys. There we go. Running grapples are our friend, I guess. Oh my god. There's the tag, Cole. Oh god, rock punches? No, okay. Reversal fest. I got some dirty grapples. I need to do some damage here. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. You know what? And even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. No joke, Cole. I let me change focus here. There we go. Tagging the non-legal guy as a heel. That gets us some momentum, my man. Nice quick counter. Angle he countered. <laughs> wow, I'm orange. I really sh I'm gonna tag out. Oy! Like I say, folks, strikes overriding grapple strats. Oh my god, Rocket is literally bringing it and not via satellite. He's actually bringing it. Great Paul Burchill, alright. Okay, maybe I should just retreat to the corner because I'm in a rough spot here. Rocky wants to be the one to end my season streak. No! Alright, gonna play it safe here. Looks like a tag to me! No! Uh, that's it. I'm on the aggression here. Choke him! <laughs> this is not just a match anymore, Paul. These superstars have got yeah, I really should let Austin do some work here, to be honest. There's a lot of no! Here for sure. I thought that was going to be a DQ. I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. I, I feel like next person hit the ref, it's going to be a DQ. Okay, Jimmy Hart is attempting to lift Austin. <laughs> lift Austin outside the ring. Yeah, this is Jimmy Hart's fault, all right? I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. Okay, so can we stop? Are you, what is going on? I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is... All right, sorry, I had to do it. It was too tempting. I'm going back to my corner now. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking about it. Doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking. Hey, get this psycho out of the ring, ref. Get this psycho off the ring. Get him off the turnbuckle. He's gonna. Oh, here we go. Jimmy, you made a big mistake. <laughs> I think one of the games way later down the line actually addressed that issue where they made an animation where you'll yell at the person and they'll get down instead of the ref throwing them off. Because I always felt like that was an oversight. They didn't think about that. Like the ref uh, trying to grapple to get him to leave the ring. That's that was at least my opinion on the matter. But I swear one of the games way later down the line addressed that. Why does Hogan have that move? Alright, that's it. I had to do it. You shouldn't be doing that move, Hogan. He slipped out of that one. Alright. We're actually getting destroyed to be honest. See, that's another reason why I think I, I talked about this in the previous parts where like I don't prefer this new momentum system over the older ones because it can make matches last way longer and I know the argument for that is like oh the momentum's dynamic so like you know momentum goes back and forth and like um you're not just throwing out finishers all the time but I prefer the old finisher system because you know you store them up and then they can just unleash them and then like uh, it doesn't make the matches last as long you know If Ro oh god. If Rock gets orange, I might tag in here. But I mean, honestly, I might just tag in right now because Austin's getting destroyed. Wow, we're getting wrecked. How about Taz should spend more time calling the match and less time cutting down his broadcast okay. partner? Run rough. I might ask for the tag here. Alright, is Austin gonna land a strong grapple? Nope. <laughs> There's just so many reversals. 
trying to keep these superstars on the up and up. That's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Oh, God. You know what, Cole? get on your high horse again and give us another... I could be a cheese ball and go outside the ring and steal the Rock's taunt to take away his momentum. That is such a scumbag thing to do. I could do it, but I'm going to keep the finisher, to be honest. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. You know that you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then that's just Yes, finally a grapple move. There we go. Lock it in, brother. Two moves in a row. Is this real legend difficulty? There we go. I mean I've done like no damage to his head though. God. It's just chaos. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I as soon as he like was winding up that chop in my head. I'm like, it's over <laughs> Oh my god No, oh, legend sewer continues folks <laughs> Oh my god, I Believe this is how the legend tour ends, right? So we got Kurt Angle, Bret Hart, Mankind, Stone Cold, The Rock, and Hogan. Battle Royal. Interesting. Is this really the end? I can't... I want to say it ends in a Battle Royal, but... I mean, we've been going an hour and 20 minutes, man. Jeez. I, I can't believe that match. I was curious who was going to win that match. And, I mean, I won because I got paid, but like... <laughs> that's how it ends. The land of the rising sun. And what a main event. We've got here for the second to last show. Oh, it's second to last. WWE Legends World Tour. A special six man Legends Battle Royal with some of the biggest names in WWE history. This is going to be great. We're going to see Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock. But I'm not sure about Jimmy Hart's decision to add this guy to the mix, JR. Unlike the rest of the competitors, he hasn't exactly proven himself to be a legend yet. Damn. Don't sell him short, King. He's earned his spot by going toe to toe with some true legends over the past few weeks, so he could surprise us all. <laughs> by the way, I feel like <laughs> if I could somehow get the statistics on how many of my tag matches throughout my life in this game have ended by DQ like that, it would be a lot. It's so annoying because, like, you know, the refs approaching to try to get control of the match, kick people out, and that's when he's most likely to get hit. We'll skip the entrances we've seen because it's a long episode, but like, man, how, what a disappointing way to end. And if my partner would have been the one to do that, then that would have ended my season streak. But I'll be honest, I think the biggest uh, chance of uh, it ending would be here. And the opponent from Long Island, New York, weighing 287 pounds, Mankind. All right, we haven't seen Mankind, so we'll watch this one. By the way, I hated how in this game, they used the old schizophrenic theme with this attire. It doesn't really match well. I would have preferred the, uh, you know, the car crash one with this attire. It's mankind. It's even like the old Tron, too. Okay, this is actually going to be extremely tough. It's going to be complete chaos. Alright, we've seen how I don't remember how this ends. I, I just have some memory. Actually, no, I won't talk about that memory. I think it's kind of spoiler, so... I'll talk about it after this, I guess. Oh my god. The Legends Tour has been wild, to say the least. <laughs> These matches have been very unconventional. Alright. Who do we want to isolate, I guess? I don't know. Well, I mean, with multiple people... Maybe we'll be able to land some more moves if they keep, like, focusing on the other person? I don't know. I don't know if that's really true or not, though. Talk about a superstar who's let his success go straight to his head. Alright, big German. So much on the screen. If you're not playing this in widescreen, like the HUD is just so cluttered during here. It's still cluttered here, but not as bad. Alright. I think it's not in my best interest to attempt a uh, ankle lock. Yeah, I'm actually kind of going in here, though. 
Right, triple German should get a finisher here. We're gonna we're gonna hold on to that. Walk away from the legs, then store so we don't waste it. German super I've snapped. Tap or snap. And I'd hate to be on the receiving end. I don't think his opponent's got a hope of hurting him now. Alright, auto targeting, thank you. Okay, we know mankind's got like that really high durability. I don't know who's really the biggest threat, to be honest. We're all we're talking about legends here, so everyone's really a threat. Turnbuckle pad. There we go. Lay it in. Rock's yellow already. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. Someone's going into that, brother. Oh my god. It's like he ran his right, here we go. We gotta be mindful of our damage here. We, we can, like, you know, the longer the match goes, if we get pinned off a regular move, it's gonna be the most disappointing thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I feel like in multi-man matches, I land grapples more often if they change focus to somebody else, but I don't know if that's just being a coincidence here or not. Okay, big schoolboy. We could attempt to yellow cheese Rocky, but I doubt it's gonna happen. Okay, <laughs> I feel like that wasn't even intended for me, but all right. I know he's a SmackDown superstar, Jr. He's taking every advantage in this matchup. Okay, we could do a super dirty move, but I don't know if it's really gonna be worth it in this match. the dirtiest player in the game, Jr. He's a shoot. Angle slam. You know what comes next. Stop I'm trying to yellow cheese here, Hogan. Okay. Cover, Hogan could potentially hit that red and yellow cheese on you, aka the creative control. Can you on? We already got Hogan orange, brother. Where's your creative control right now? Here's the cover, JR. Why? Only Sean was in this match to oversell all of his moves. Oh my god, that was close. That was three, JR. I, mean, I got no damage, so I should be fine for a while. Oh god, Hulkster. Big DT, finally. To try and do that side or um, that right grapple for so long, <laughs> finally able to hit it on somebody. Oh man, I've been in this hole before, Jr. This brings back some right. bad memories. I need some stamina here. Everyone's locking in the submissions, brother. I'm really scared about possum pains if someone stores a finisher. I think I see where this one's going, Jr. Okay. I'm yellow. I feel like I haven't been hit with that many moves, but I'm still yellow. What? I didn't even see. What did Brett pin him off of? Superplex. Actually, if I get a singles match, I should try the uh, superplex to do that special camera angle. Oh, God. Okay, Hogan got, Hogan got eliminated immediately. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Uh, which, I don't know if I should go after anymore. German. No kidding. This will rearrange your anatomy. I thought Rock's gonna go for a double team move. Alright, Brett actually let me hit a grapple on him. Maybe there is something to that, uh... Oh, possum pin! Mankind has no stamina, though. Oh, I kicked out. He's only yellow. So we finally saw a possum pin. There you go. That's what it is. I need to use this for this finisher expire. Ah, uh, rip. I feel like they always do that leg lock animation on me when I have two finishers. It wastes so much time. Okay, Mankind. I should, I'm going to be targeting Mankind here, actually. He's a massive threat with his current damage. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Do some damage, brother. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's a robot. Alright, if you hated that robot thing in this game, it gets removed into this game. You still collapse from losing stamina, but it doesn't make that awkward noise in 07. And then the stamina gets, like, completely revamped after that, which I like better. I think it's... I don't know. I, I don't really like this game's stamina. I don't hate it, but, like, it's... Uh, could be better, in my opinion. Give that man a stunner. Rock, wake up, taunt into angle slam. You ready? Let's see if we can do this. 
Bangle slam. Is it enough? He's orange. It could possibly be enough. Zero count. All right, cool. Okay, I got to be careful. Oh, Austin's not a finisher anymore. Oh, double arm DDT. Oh. <laughs> what a TNA impact. Oh, God. I can't believe he countered that one. Okay. I don't even know what's going on, to be honest with you. It's just people everywhere. Can you believe we're actually watching these superstars go Rock, wake up, taunt, and angle slam again. You ready? I've been looking forward to this match oh, for okay. A long time. <laughs> he somehow kicked him before I used that. I'm not sure how he beat me to the punch there. I could bust out the romp and stomp and headlock since I'm actually able to use like grapples here. Romp and stomp and headlock! And they get out immediately again. Are you serious? They're taking it down a notch, JR. This could get interesting. All right, he rock dodged that and then I was able to hit it on Brett. Okay. Can we steal one? Dude, they keep getting out of my stuff immediately. You sure don't, King. We've seen many a superstar tap out to this one. My ribs. That's just He's my back. Get caught with that one. Yeah. I think this one's almost over, JR. I don't even know. All right, the targeting is going crazy going. here. Oh god, this is not good. Rock sharpshooter and I'm orange. The submission has been expertly applied. Oh my god. Right. You got to survive, Kurt. Oh my god, I thought I was done. Okay. Yeah, I, I, what, what is even my strategy at this point? I don't even know anymore. Angle slam. Uh, doing that in Austin was probably a mistake unless we get a quick... No, he's distracted by the leg lock. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to lose this. I'm, t I'm calling it now. Okay, we could play like edge and hide a little bit. I've been pretty much on the aggression, though, most of the time. I really, really need some momentum, though. That never gets old, dude. Put that in the fridge. Okay. Hogan finally doing something on the outside. Ah, uh, what is my plan here? I was trying for a schoolboy on Brett, but I was focused on the wrong guy. The submission is locked in. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, JR. You can't go along without camping after this. Okay. I could try that dirty pin on some people. He saw that one coming. I forget what the input is though. Okay. Angle slam! Don't touch him. No! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's not the input. So it's either right or possibly down. No, nope, that's the German. Yeah, I've been doing a much better job with stamina than these guys, apparently. Definitely got to avoid mankind as well. Oh, God, definitely, for sure. Now he's got double finishers. And Austin. Okay, we're going to take a page out of Edge's book. Future ultimate opportunity. Oh, God. Stop. 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 We're going to pin a man with two finishers. There's no way. Big zero count. Oh, my boy, is going on. He's hooking the arms. Could it be? It is. A modified DDT. You don't see a lot of superstars get up from that one, JR. Ooh, what is even going on? Angle slam off a of stamina drain. Okay, it's gonna be back to back eliminations here. Should have enough time. No, what are you yelling at? What are you yelling at, my man? My finisher's gonna expire now because of you. He kicked out. Come on, store it, store it, store it. In the fridge. Right in the fridge. I got screwed right there. Completely screwed. Oh. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Stamina drain angle slam! 
Okay. Come on now. What is my luck this match? Stop yelling. Count. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to kick out again. Holy Toledo. This match is wild. I think they're going to try to gut it out, JR. But guts yeah. will only get you so far. Sometimes it's yep. just not physically possible to keep going. I'm mashing. Nah, there's no way. I think the damage has been done here, King. Get Brett regaining what stamina on the outside. Like it matters JR. anymore. Watch out. He reversed it. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to be conscious of the... Uh, here's the problem. Mankind and Austin's momentum bars are the complete opposite sides of the screen from each other. So, like, I'm constantly shifting my eyes. Yeah. Ref just yelling at nobody. All right. Oh boy. Angle Here slam. Don't you dare touch him. Cover. <laughs> oh my god, he runs into the ref. He kicked out at what? Oh my dude, I'm having the worst luck with my finishers. Million dollar dream, could that be enough? He doesn't seem to be too concerned about Mankind's pretty damaged, right? Well, he should be. This one's not over yet, and you never know. Wow, okay, here we go. It's down to Austin. Kurt Angle. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yep. Alright. This is it. Ref, please get out of the way. Ref, please get out of the way. <laughs> Angle slam! Got no stamina. Cover! This has got to be it, brother. Unless one of them grabs it and erupts. He kicked out at one somehow. How? I'm actually kind of shocked by that. The ref wasn't even really distracted that time, was he? Alright, here we go. This is it. This could be my first loss. Here we go. Cinch it in, brother! Watch him get out right away. Yep, I knew it! I completely knew that was gonna happen. That's it. There we go. I'm in the zone right now, boys. Three Germans. That's it. Angle slam! Cover, please. One, two, oh my God! Chalk up another win for that. So this is so long, dude. These matches, man. I feel like I got so unlucky. I should have had some like people eliminated like multiple times. There, yeah, here we go. With all of those legendary superstars, I knew would have some problems with their legendary egos, Jr. And that pipsqueak, Jimmy Hart. Been AWOL since Austin tried to stun him in the ring last week. Uh oh. Now what's he doing? He's trying to get between them and calm them down. But frankly, that's the last place in the world you'd want to be. No, no! Sokko! It's Mr. Sokko! Sokko! That sock is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, JR. Oh, Goofy. Oh my god. <laughs> the way I sold that. That aside, the only thing legendary about you is the beating you just took in the middle of this damn ring. Mankind may be one dumb, psychotic, some bitch, but he's earned something you ain't got yet, and that's my respect, and that's all I got to say about that. Damn. And now that it's just you and me, I suggest you collect your damn teeth, put your little sock back in your pants, and drag your lumpy ass back to the boiler room before Stone Cold changes his mind, stomps a mud hole in your ass, and walks it dry. While I appreciate having your respect, Austin, I beg to differ on just one point. Mr. Sacco may in fact be little, but to be fair, it is just a bit chilly in this arena. Crowd popping for that. I'm content to take my leave as Japan is one of the few places I can find live nutrition without being harassed by some sort of animal rights enforcement. What? But before I go, I offer what I like to think of as legendary words of encouragement to our would-be legend. Have a nice day. My God.
But yeah, that stunner looked worse than the one on Jimmy Hart. Oh my god. I'd rather watch a Linda McMahon stunner, to be honest with you. Alright, so we're almost two hours in. We just got one more match of the storyline. Are you sure you're okay? That was pretty bad, but I've had worse. You know, Jimmy Hart is supposed to be managing this tour. But it seems like he's lost control of some of the legends. I think you're right. Looks like I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands. So, what are you gonna do about Steve Austin and Mankind? Next week in New York City is your last chance to settle this. That crazy Mankind reached into his pants, grabbed a sock, and shoved it right down your throat. Yuck! That is so gross. I think he deserves a little payback next week. Yeah, but Stone Cold's just as guilty. Plus, he's meaner. And you might never get another chance to face a legend like him. Who says it's got to be an either or choice? Oh, God. What do you mean? Maybe I can only get one official match sanctioned for next week. But that doesn't mean I can't find one of those jokers somewhere else beforehand and get a little payback. I like your plan. So, who's it going to be? By the way, interesting, you see the bandage on my head. Every, like, character you can play as in Season R has a bandage texture that gets called in for certain scenes like that. Ah, look for Mankind before the show and face Austin in the first blood match for the main event. I'll look for Austin before the show and face Mankind in a parking lot brawl. I want to do the parking lot brawl. I'll tell you that for sure. We haven't shown it off in the playthrough. Very fun in this game. A lot of cool interactables. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> well, hello there. You've won the Legend Killer Trophy! Wow! Legend loading screens. Oh, okay. So you know what? I've been going for an hour and 40 minutes. I am saving before... If this crashes, I will lose my mind. Oh my god. And then we're going to turn on those legend loading screens, I suppose. Uh, that will give us some more variety. So there we go. So that's good. We got some more loading screens. My god. I didn't really think about that. I forgot that's a trophy. We can also look at the trophy right now, I suppose. Let's do that right now. That's our first trophy of the playthrough. Guess we can swing around this way. Loading screen manager. Look at that Andre, Brett, Hogan, Hollywood Hogan. Hogan again. Oh, this will add some good variety. Very nice. There's our first trophy of the playthrough, boys. Win the battle royal against the legends in season mode. There you go. Very nice. Whoops, I honestly should take mental note of those trophies, because, uh... If I would have failed there, I would have to go back and, uh, get that later. Okay, I, I actually probably should have saved here, because now, if it crashes, then I gotta go back and turn those back on. But it's alright. Should be fine. There we go. I'm excited for the parking lot brawl. A lot of cool things you can do in there. It's gonna be fun to show off. Alright. Bar brawl versus Austin. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. And there's our Austin loading screen, freshly unlocked. I always love the design of this game's loading screens, man. That and 07, they look great. Alright, here we go. So like it says, you can drag an opponent towards an object, just like the environmental grapples in the arena. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're gonna be busting these out. Stop. You notice here, uh... No commentary. You can actually hear some ambient noise of, like, people, like, chattering and, like, uh, like, people hitting pool balls and stuff. Right, here we go. Let's dive in, boys. <laughs> Get Austin on here. This is revenge for this Legends Tour storyline you put me through. All right, locked in the animation. So, my favorite animation... Oh, he Luthes! Oh, my God. My favorite animation is using the basketball minigame. Okay. And bust out the double snap jab. Okay, Austin's on a rampage here. Alright. <laughs> See if we can get it here. Nope. I'm trying to strong Irish whip into the jukebox or that little, uh, there's like a light fixture design thing. Okay, stop. <laughs> there we go. Come on, line up. No, I failed. Okay, I was about to get that, too. 
German! <laughs> Alright, give me that pool stick. My god. <laughs> okay, those sw slow weapon swings like we talked about before. Okay, also pretty cool. These spinner tables, cool design. You can also climb on top of it. I'm pretty sure. I thought you could. Yeah, there we go. Yep! The range! Oh my god. Okay, throw one in the pool table. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, you can actually do a finisher off that. Interesting. I'm trying to do as many environmental grapples as possible. Oh boy. There's a really cool one with the pool table. Oh no. Oh god. By the way, the bartender is not spawned in for some reason. Usually she's there. I'm not really sure why. She's not. Oh my, he's not even letting me do the punch after the uh, grab. Wow, this is crazy. This is like Bret Hart mode here. Wow, that pull stick actually saved him. Did you see that? Well, I literally can't do anything. I'm trying to do environmental grapples, but... Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This kind of sucks. I can't show off anything because so he keeps reversing it. Maybe I can at least do one more. Oh, God. Don't do it. Oh, that's going to do some damage. Rip. Oh, God. It's my unsanctioned match, by the way. I didn't think that was going to hit me. I thought I was far enough back, but I guess not. There we go. This is cool animation. All right. Oh, that's not the one I was thinking of, but all right. It's still pretty decent. All right. I think we can actually... Come on, line up. Okay, there you go. That's one of them. Oh, double combo? Okay, that's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to get the jukebox. There we go. All right. Oh god. By the way, I love how your match displays in the little TV there. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. It's just, it's just non-stop strikes this match. Alright, here we go. I'm in Austin's element here, boys. There we go. This is my favorite animation here. Kurt Angle. From downtown, folks. Those clean shots. Cost me some stamina though. By the way, it's kind of f funny when you do that when um, you're in like a hacked match with camera angles turned off. Alright. Probably should utilize one of these angle slams here. Oh no! I mean, there's a few more. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all of them in one match. Probably not. Oh my, he's fooling me. He's backing up and doing running attacks, man. I, I did not mean to do that. Oh my. Jeez, I'm getting killed this match. Alright. Just at least let me get the baseball bat, Austin. No. <laughs> How many times have we had to watch the animation? Watch it again. <laughs> oh my, alright. I might have to give up on the dream here. Yeah! <laughs> I can get the baseball back and do some damage here, but he might be out of options at this point because he keeps reversing. We can't show off all of them. It's all right. I need some stamina though, my man. Oh my god! He keep wow. Austin's like he's like backing up, which throws like I let my guard down, and then he just rushes me. It's interesting how he's doing this. Okay, this is not ending on a regular sleeper hole, my man. It's an unsanctioned match, brother. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just realized, if this is an unsanctioned match, if I lose, does it count towards my season streak? <laughs> I want to say yes, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Why am I not using that strat? Just bait him in and then just do the grapple, just like you can do in the environment. Oh, I got it. Like, oh, that's actually kind of hard, though. Unless I do a strike first. Oh, it's over. It's over. He might pin me off this or hit the stunner here.
Oh, I did not mean to pause there. Jesus, all right. Um. No, oh, I was trying to do a move to waste time. Oh, what? Uh, we lost. <laughs> Stunner, no! Oh my god. The robot. Get up. Get up, Kurt. No! It's over. There's no point. Oh my god. The season streak ends. Rip. Okay, so here's the thing I think happened there. Like... Oh my, first off, I was playing like an idiot because I was obsessed with environmental grapples because I wanted to do the baseball bat one because you can actually pull off that baseball bat, which is pretty cool. But what happened was he countered my pickup and I thought I was safe. So I wasn't trying to counter the um, the finisher because I thought I was facing the other way. But because I like got shoved into the wall, it angled me at just the right angle where he could still do the finisher. So like it thought I was in front of him. It was all right. Well, <laughs> season streak finally ends. I guess it was bound to happen sooner rather than later. Wow, dude. That's such a sad way for it to end, though. Oh my god, alright. Well, now we're up against Mankind. This actually might be quite difficult as well. Alright. Wow, the ground texture looks great here with the upscaled settings here. Opening up strong, boys. Let's do more environmental grapples. Give me the tire iron, my man. Oh, he's got the club, man. The club sandwich. One of my favorite moves. All right, so just like the bar brawl, I can actually drag people into very uh, all these cars and such. I'll show you my favorite animation personally, if I can do it. Which, <laughs> at the rate of last match, I don't think it's happening. I guess this adds to the argument of turning down the difficulty, but I'm, I'm still not going to do it. All right, stop. Oh, it's not angled right. It's not Kurt angled right. Oh my dude, this is insane. <laughs> Big back suplex. We're almost we're almost approaching the two hour. Yes, finally. Come on, make it. Yes, this is my favorite animation. Give me that ether, brother! Ether to the eyes! Ether to the eyes into German suplex! <laughs> and of course, the most infamous interactable in here requires two finishes to pull off. I guess I'll attempt to do it. I'm also not going to obsess about making sure I hit every single interactable. Okay, so here's something I want to point out that a lot of people don't know about. You see the horns on JBL's limo? You can actually go over to that and grab it. Now, for the longest time, I didn't know this was a thing until, like... I think the game was older at one point I was playing, and I saw the computer go over and grab it. And it blew my mind, because, like, for the longest time, I didn't even know you could do that. Um, it seems like it's just, like, a reskin sledgehammer, just like the pool stick as well. But still, it's really cool. I remember that blew my mind when I first saw that. It was, like, a long time ago, but still, like... It even had, like, its own little cutscene. Pretty damn cool, I must say. Come here, brother. Strong Irish whips all day. Here we go. Mankind's the perfect guy to be taking all this stuff. Big leg drop. Shades of that dude that got eliminated in the Battle Royal immediately. Right, I'm pissed, Mankind. My streak's over. Sad day for the season mode. Unsanctioned match. Some people could argue it doesn't count, but I'm not going to use that excuse, brother. I lost, all right? Streak's over. Oh, God. All right, I'm just going to come up here to combat that. No, I didn't. That's one of my least favorite move animations, that slow, cheesy elbow drop. I hate it so much. It has, like, no range either. Big German. All right, you know what? Mankind, if he's going to allow me to do it. Oh, so you need two finishes to do this. It means you're on a time limit if you want to do the special animation, but as you can see, I might not have enough time at this rate. Oh, come on, come on. So close. No, rip. Oh, well, I can do this at least. All right, come here. <laughs> JVL leaving his limo back here. All right, 
can also climb on top of this loom, which is really cool. Big missile dropkick! I want my ether back. I want my ether in every arena. The ether bunny. Uh, he dodged a dropkick by just walking away. Oh no! Don't do it. Don't do it. This is disturbing. Oh god. The car door! Oh my god! Gruesome. Okay, I'm just mashing the reverse button because I'm scared when he's gonna do it. Oh, okay. I know some people actually play like that, and yes, mashing the reversal button is a completely viable strategy, but I've always been under the impression of just, uh, timing, you know? There are certain situations where I guess you want to mash, but... I don't know, timing to me. Like, there are some games that do actually... Like, the, the mashing is a pretty viable strategy. Some games punish you for it, uh, if you mash too much where it's not gonna work, but... You know. Oh my- dude, I'm literally not allowed to hit anything on these guys. He's Legends, brother. Legends during... <laughs> Legend difficulty during the Legends Tour storyline is no joke. Alright, new strat. I'm gonna grapple first, and the punch will push me to a finisher. Potentially. Ah, uh, no, it's going down. Oh, we hit each other. Now. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna lose again. I'm gonna lose again from just obsessing over my specific finishes. <laughs> he keeps walking away from my strikes and it's working. That's like, stuff I would do. Oh my god. Reverse the reversal, though. If you know, you know. Oh my- Dude, I'm literally just not allowed to hit anything. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I'm gonna lose off a regular move, to be honest with you. Okay. Dude, I'm literally not allowed to hit anything. This is like- This is like Bret Hart level. I'm kind of curious why this is happening with Mankind. Oh god, I'm gonna lose off this. So, okay, if that would've got me red, I think it would've been over. Okay. Come on. Come on, please, if I can get a finisher here. No! If that would've pushed me to a finisher, I would've had it right there. Are you serious? No. No! <laughs> I might have to give up on it, guys. I'm sure most people already know what the animation is. I've done it on video before, but still. Ah, it's gonna expire again. I'm mashing, I'm mashing. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it! The computer doesn't allow you to do anything on Legend. It's no fun! Alright, I'm gonna go for it one more time. This may be a massive mistake. I'm surprised I actually was allowed to hit two moves in a row. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised, folks. Okay, did the club, which I was actually ready for, but oh my god. I should just go for angle slam. I'm gonna lose completely here. Okay. Oh my lord. Lord almighty. Lord have mercy. Yes! No, what? <laughs> Did it run out or you cannot do it during story mode? Or do they have to be red? I'm, I don't remember them having to be red, but still. Alright. Okay, I wasn't gonna go for angle slam there because I thought he was gonna reverse. I'm gonna knock him down and pick him up. Like, this is getting out of hand. Stop. <laughs> stop! <laughs> Mankind, stop! If he has a schoolboy, I'm done. Am I really gonna go? I might go for the... Oh, God. They might have to be red, but I don't really remember. German off the thing! <laughs> oh, I really should just end this. This episode has gone on way, way too long. Oh god, has my stamina really been that low this whole- I feel like I haven't been watching it. Screw it up. Yeah. 
Wow, this is what the other thing is I've held him to zero finishers, but like just the fact that he reverses literally like everything I try, it just prevents me from doing anything cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not the cleanest hit there, but it got the job done. Had enough of you mankind. <laughs> Alright. Taking out my aggressions on the ref. Oh, he got me with the delayed grapple. No! Alright, come on. Oh, Jared's barbecue ribs, guys. I'm focusing here. Focus, give up. Never let up. Okay, come on. Oh my god, this might be it. Yes! Oh my god, I got the finish I want. I guess they do have to be red. I guess that makes sense so you don't cheese it. Alright, the cracked windshield. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of all these legends. <laughs> Alright. Mankind's been KO'd. Oh my god. He reversed so much, dude. Alright, Kurt has killed Mankind. With a similar noise to Mankind's entrance theme beginning. We have done it. That's the Legends Tour, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My god. Two hours? Oh boy, I need a break after that. I got a lot of cash though now. We'll buy some stuff next episode. Maybe I'll change up my locker room. Oh my god. Alright, that's the Legends Tour. Oh my god. I guess thoughts about that. Um, one of the most memorable storylines, but playing it on Legends is a little exhausting. The multi-man matches aren't bad because it seems like you can land more moves, but like... Oh man. Wild. That match against Brett was wild. Even the bull... Every match was wild. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next time. We're heading back to SmackDown.